Hello everyone, so today I wanted to film this video because I watched Riley's video on this a week ago or two or something like that and it really got me thinking about this whole topic and then Jesse the Reader put out a video the other day about it and I just, it made me solidify the fact that I wanted to film this video because I just, I thought it was like a really important thing that we don't really talk about that much on booktube. Plus, I curled my hair today because I wanted to test how long it took to do, so, um, yeah, I just look extra good, so, I figured I'd film a video. But today I'm going to be talking about my reading tastes and preferences. Riley made a video because she felt that her reading taste had changed so much over the years and since she started booktube and she wanted to kind of put it into a video and words for everyone, and I just thought that it was a really great video, so I kind of wanted to take you guys through what my reading experience is and my preferences and my changes in my reading have been since I was alive. So to begin, I was an extremely young reader. I was one of those kids that you hear about that are like sitting in the corner reading and like could read really really fast as a really small child and to this day I read really quickly because I learned to read so young. I could read going into preschool so throughout my entire like elementary school, middle school kind of reading career, I was always just a little bit ahead of everyone, and still am. I'm just a little bit above, or a lot, a bit above uh, people's reading tastes and reading speeds and like what everyone is reading. So as a kid, I do feel like I missed out on quite a few like childhood reading experiences because I never read the Magic Treehouse series. I just was never interested in it because it seemed so childish to me. So as a really, really small kid, as in like, you know, preschool through third or fourth grade or so, I absolutely loved The Spiderwood Chronicles, the series of unfortunate events, Chronicles of Narnia, and especially The Phantom Tollbooth. And I, this is my exact copy that I got, I think I was in second grade, first grade or something like that, and my mom took me for the first time ever over to our book swap down the street, and she bought me this, and I read it, and I dropped it. And I read this as a very small child, like, it obviously is a very easy book, but as a kid it was extremely, like, advanced for how old I was, and my teacher actually didn't want me reading it because she thought that I was going to get ahead of everyone else, but she was a little too late. Now going between 4th and about 5th, 6th grade or so, I literally spent basically all of my reading time reading every single one of the Warriors books. I, I only own a couple of them because my teachers always had them stocked in their rooms or at the library and stuff. I think I read three series of these, six books each, and then like the in-between books, and that's all I read, basically. Except for in fifth grade when I read the entire Twilight series, this really opened my eyes to more of a YA variety of reading rather than like middle grade and child like uh, Warriors was, so I have a lot to thank for Twilight because it really got me into like reading YA. In the beginning of 7th grade, I read the Hunger Games series, and this kicked off my dystopian reading extravaganza. I read like every single dystopian book that was out at that time, between like 7th, 8th grade or so. I read Hunger Games, Divergent, Maze Runner, everything. And also during 7th grade, I discovered The Mortal Instruments and Percy Jackson, two of my favorite all-time series, so I spent a good chunk of time also reading these. So a lot during 8th grade, I read a lot of The Mortal Instruments, Percy Jackson, stuff like that, uh, catching up to where those series were, as well as more dystopian novels. But 9th grade, my freshman year, was very, very strange for me because I only read a single book. And that was The City of Lost Souls, which was the Mortal Instrument book that had come out during that year or whatever. Um, freshman year was the year that I got a Kindle, and I just simply didn't read. I I don't know why I got so- I hated my Kindle. I got so distracted and it just made me not want to read, like at all. So I only read this book in the entire ninth grade for myself. I did a ton of reading for school because I had my favorite teacher for the first time ever that year and he made us read probably 20 novels in one year and it was just crazy. But yeah, so ninth grade I only really read this book. 
Now in 10th grade, I started reading again, obviously, from basically taking an entire year off from reading. And my taste completely changed from before. I discovered Jodi Picoult, which is one of my favorite authors. I also read a crap ton of classics that year. Not totally sure why, and just like a lot of like small independent books that not a lot of people had heard of, and that made me come to the conclusion that I'm not that big of a fan of classics. I read so many, and I just never got that much out of them. Like, people would always talk about them, so I wanted to read them, obviously, and I just didn't get much out of them, so. But also during 10th grade, I read Sabriel by Garth Nix, which really kicked off my fantasy reading. And finally, in 11th grade, I started booktube. So you guys have basically seen what I've read since the start of my junior year of high school until now. So, but even since I have been on booktube until now, I feel like my reading tastes have changed because at the very beginning of my booktubing career, if you saw like my TBR jar and like the books that I had on my TBR kind of thing, I had so many classics and like contemporary novels and like these books that I nowadays I would be like I I'm just gonna put this out there I didn't read like a single book on that entire list of books that I showed you guys except for ones for school um almost a year ago and I, I most of them are gone now most of them I've given away because they simply weren't what I actually wanted to read I accumulated them over this time that I was like, oh, I'm really into these classics and metaphorical stuff and contemporary novels, and I don't like contemporary. It's my least favorite genre, so I don't know why I kept reading it. I felt probably because I wanted to be cool and read books that everyone else was reading, but I, I, since I have started, I went from reading a ton of contemporaries and stuff like that to discovering my love for fantasy. So yeah, I discovered my huge love for fa YA fantasy and adult fantasy and stuff like that, and I obviously discovered some of my all-time favorite books and favorite series while I've been on booktube. But now that we have gone through like my past with reading, I want to talk about right now because as we speak, and the reason I really wanted to make this video was because right now I feel like I am going through a huge change in my reading. Recently I have just been hating YA. And it's so sad because I have so many amazing books on here that I'm definitely going to still read, even though I'm in this kind of mood right now. And most, most of my favorite novels are YA, and I love YA, and I don't know why, but recently I have just been hating it. I just, every single time I read a book, I just sit there going, this would be so much better if the characters were older. This would be so much better if they didn't gloss over the sex. This would be so much better if they didn't gloss over all of this politics and swearing and violence and stuff like that. Honestly, the book that made me realize that I was starting to hate YA was Of Monsters and Men by Patrick Ness. And I love this book. I'm not, I, the reason, it, it was hard to rate for me. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Spoiler for my wrap up, but it made me realize I was hating YA because I didn't blame it for this, but I just kept hating and hating and more and more hating different aspects of this novel. Like, I found myself every single time they talked, you know, about uh, Todd and Viola, <laughs> I almost just forgot her name, uh, I just kept picturing, you know, 25 year olds in my brain because they're 13 in this book, and that is absolutely ridiculous for what happens in it. And I just, I was just sitting there like, this would be so much better if the characters were older. Same with The Fallen Kingdoms, which I just recently finished and I actually really, really loved. But again, I was just sitting there going, this would be so much better if the characters were older. If this was written as an adult fantasy novel, I'm pretty sure it would be like Game of Thrones level, to be honest. Like that many people would love it even more. So right now I feel like I'm in this in-between kind of thing of going, I really want to read more adult novels because they have what I want in a book right now. But I'm also kind of terrified to read adult because I do like adult, but it also really scares me because sometimes when I read adult it takes forever to read, I don't connect as much with the characters and stuff like that. And also I have so many YA books on my bookshelf, well not actually that many, I have like five right now, but 
that I just am sitting there like, I really want to read this, but I feel like I'm going to hate it if I do right now. But I also feel like my scaredness of adult novels sh should be like kind of going away because I am becoming an adult. So the fact that I don't, you know, connect with the characters as an adult should kind of be like changing a little bit. And I've realized recently with the whole YA thing, I don't connect to the characters as much. Reading about 13 year old doesn't appeal to me anymore. Reading about little 16 year old girls running around doing stupid things doesn't appeal to me anymore. So right now I feel like I'm going through a change with my reading preferences, which is why I really wanted to make this video because I want to know what you guys are kind of thinking on this whole subject because I really do want to try reading some more adult novels and to do that actually right now I have kind of planned out for the next couple of months to read one or two adult novels and who knows I might read one and decide to just read all of the adult novels on my shelf right now. but. I want to try to get into it more because I'm interested in it. Like, normally I buy an adult novel and put it on my bookshelf and it never gets read. But right now I'm in just, I really want to read adult novels. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I know most people on booktube are huge fans of YA. I obviously am. You see my books? I love YA. But right now, at this time in my life, I just want to read more adult novels. And that's okay. I feel like I've always been just a little bit ahead of people my same age, but in my life I have very progressively gone through the different levels of reading. I went from, you know, child to middle grade, YA, and now I'm moving on to adult. So I don't think this is a bad thing. I just think it is another progression in my reading career. But anyways, I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this kind of topic, so leave a comment below or make a video of response because I've been loving watching these videos so much. So yes, I love you all and I'll see you all soon. Bye!